In today's video, we are going to be painting this awesome firecaster I got from my friends at Warped Rider Games so I could be part of their Halloween painting contest. To start, we hit it with a black and purple highlight all over to get an even coat. For the next step, I chose to use an army painter green from their D&D starter pack. I really like the pop this color gives off in contrast to all the surrounding color. I make sure to hit the face, beard, skull and hand, and brim of the hat for a glow effect. Once you're happy with where the green lands, we move on to a gray primer tone. I use this over some of the areas we've just painted, like the face and beard, but I think the results look pretty dope. We finish out the gray by painting the skull on his hand, being careful not to hit surrounding parts. Don't worry, I dropped him plenty of times here trying to get him up on the stand. Unlike most people, I rarely make mistakes, but I really fucked up here by painting the limbs a Skeletor-esque yellow. It really clashes with the vision I had in my head, so I had to hand it over to Girlfriend to finish painting it over with a greenish gray, and that ended up working out really well. While she finishes the figure by hand, I move on to airbrush the base. I have to be sure coverage is good and I'm not missing any corners or anything. The paint we're using right here is just a cheap local dollar store paint, so its consistency can be kind of whack. On that note, sorry for the camera flip, this is my first video slash edit. And to end it off, we added some faux grass and spiders to the stand. I really like how this turned out for our first entry. If you like what you see here, be sure to check me out on Instagram and YouTube, at Wallops Workshop.